Welcome back. Uh, today we will explore the automatic step-by-step -step startup procedure of our 50 megawatt Francis turbine and its synchronization with the grid. We will follow the turbine journey from a complete stop to general generating 25 megawatt of synchronized power. At uh, a key step covered in this tutorial, the main inlet wall opening, servo motor lock disengagement, wicket gate operation, turbine startup from zero power, transition from no volt state to no load state and then from no load state to 25 megawatt synchronization with the grid. Now let's uh, dive into the complete step-by-step -step process. The step one, the main inlet wall opening. The operator initiates the startup sequence command and the main inlet wall starts to open. As the main inlet wall, a critical gateway controlling water flow from the reservoir gradually opens, a controlled stream of water enters the spiral case of the Francis turbine. This marks the first uh, crucial step in bringing the unit to life. Step 2. Servo motor lock disengagement, enabling wicked gate movement. The servo motor lock, a vital safety mechanism that secures the wicked gate during shutdown, is disengaged. This action frees the wicked gate, allowing them to move and precisely regulate water flow to the turbine runner. When the wicket gates, with the wicket gates now operational, the stage is set for Francis turbine to begin operation. Step 3. Wicket gate opens, initiating turbine rotation. The servo motor actuates gradually opening the wicket gate to preset position. This allows water to flow towards the Francis turbine runner with precision. As water strikes the runner blade, its kinetic energy is converted into mechanical energy, causing the runner to rotate. The unit is now officially on its way to power generation. Then the step 4, the speed ramping, approaching the no volt state. The unit speed steadily increases from 59% to 90% of synchronous speed without any alarms. At this stage, the generator is spinning but not yet producing voltage, a condition known as the no volt state. The unit is now at 90% speed in a no volt state and primed for excitation. Excitation system activation. Voltage generation commences. The system activates the acti excitation system. A DC current is applied to the generator rotor, creating a magnetic field within the stator winding. The interaction between the spinning rotor and the magnetic field induces voltage in the generator. The control screen appears showing voltage rising to 11 kV, a clear sign that generator is now producing electricity. The speed continues to climb towards 100% as the excitation system stabilizes the voltage output. Voltage generation has begun and the unit is nearly full operational speed. Unit reaches 100% speed, preparing for synchronization. With the unit now at 100% synchronous speed, the system automatically fine-tunes key parameters to ensure a seamless connection to the grid voltage matching. The generator voltage is precisely adjusted to align with the grid's 11 kV as displayed on the control scheme. Frequency stabilization. The unit maintains a steady 50 Hz, ensuring synchronization with the grid standard. Phase angle alignment. 
the generator's phase angle is synchronized with the grid to enable a smooth connection. Once all parameters are optimized, the GCB close ready state sys on the control panel turns green, signaling that the generator circuit breaker GCB is ready to close. The unit is now fully spun up, generating stable voltage and ready for synchronization. Step 7. Synchronization. Connecting to the grid at 2.5 MW. With all synchronization parameters aligned, the generator circuit breaker GCB is closed officially connecting, to the, uh, connecting the unit to the grid. The generator is now fully synchronized and seamlessly integrated into the power network. As power flow begins, the unit delivers an initial load of 2.5 MW to the grid. Step 8. Load ramp up to 20 MW. The operator increases the load to 20 MW, adjusting the wicket gate for greater water flow. Over the next few minutes, power output rises from 2.5 MW to 20 MW with all parameters remaining stable. Step 9. Final load increase to 25 MW. A further command raises the load to 25 MW with the turbine adjusting accordingly. Within 90 seconds, the unit stabilizes at the full operation with no alarm. Step 10. Steady state monitoring. The system maintains stable voltage, frequency and cooling ensuring reliable 25 megawatt power generation.